Mm. Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tank's Cooks. Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tank's Cooks. It's time, it's time, it's time once again for Tank's Cooks. We're making empanadas, empanadas. We're making empanadas. We're making empanadas, empanadas. Oh, we're starting in this pan. Yes, that's right. We're taking a pound of ground beef. We're tossing it into the frying pan. And we're going to heat it up. We're making empanadas, empanadas. Let's see how they come out. Epinadas, epinadas. It's gonna, hopefully, I don't fuck it up. Slide it in. Look at that, look at that. You see how it chops up the meat in the pan? And we're gonna brown this up. We'll break it up a little bit more, but first we're gonna add our spices. We're gonna put some accent to wake up the food flavors. Da -da -da -da. Accent. We're gonna put some uh, garlic in here. Come on. The thing closed back up on me. Here you go. We got some uh, lemon pepper. And then we're gonna put some of this pepper blend in. Pepper blend. Let it blend. And for good measure, I think we'll put in a little paprika. Here we go, just a little. All right, we'll let this brown up. We'll break it up a little bit more and we'll bake some brown up. And we'll start preparing our pie crust that we'll be putting in to the oven with the meat pockets. And stir. Papa Steve's now, I should say. Of course, if the thing opens up, that'll be easier. There we go. Adding a little water. About a, about a three fourths cup. And we're gonna stir this in. And we're gonna wait until all the um, the water basically evaporates, and then we'll be getting ready to make our empanadas for the oven. So stir this up real good, make sure all the seasoning gets in on the meat. Make sure all the seasoning gets on the meat, and just let it, the heat evaporate. All right, we'll add a couple different types of cheeses. We got here, we got some cheddar. We'll put a little bit of mozzarella in here. Kind of a double cheese blend. We'll put a little more cheddar in. And We'll put about one scoop to half cup of raisins. If the bag would open, that would be nice. All right. Get a nice scoop of raisins. 
unlike uh, the certain cereal. Now, oh, I got half on this one. I'll put another half in here and uh, put the hell, put a, little, a few more raisins in. There it is. All in all, we're putting it in a half cup. Give or take a little. Stirring it around, stirring it up, stirring it up all the way. Stir it up, stir it up. By the way, we got our oven preheat to 425. All right, this looks like it's mixed up quite nicely. All right, we got our pockets. We got our meat. And we start filling them up to make the empanadas. Making empanadas, making empanadas. Oh, I might need both packages. Hmm. Yeah, I think I will. All right, so we're gonna close the pocket like this. Pinch it, pinch it, pinch it all around as I try to get the meat to stay in. Pinching it around. So I will get me that second package. Here's these things. All right. All right, yeah, I guess so. Hmm. All right, let me get that other package. I didn't realize how fast this would fill up. All right, we're gonna repeat the process. Again, closing the bread over the each side. Might leak out a little bit, this is, but we're not perfect here. Whoever said I was perfect. <clears throat> All right. Making empanadas, making empanadas. La da 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 da, la da 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 da. Pinch it all closed around so the meat becomes in the pocket. And for good measure, we're gonna butter this up so it browns a little bit better. Slab some butter on the empanada. Slab some butter on the empanada. Butter makes it better. We're finishing up here. We got six empanadas ready to go into the oven. We just finished buttering this baby up. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go. Six empanadas ready to go in the oven. We're gonna put them in for about 15 minutes and uh, see how they look. Hopefully it'll be all golden brown and ready to eat. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. While we're waiting, we'll make some cheese dip. Of course, we'll use the Velveeta. Velveeta cheese. We'll break it up in cubes. Cube, cube, cube. Cube, cube, cube. Break it up in cubes. So we'll cut this open. And we'll cut this up into cubes. About evenly shrink cubes. Here it is. There's the cheese. The cheese tax. The cheese tax. So we'll cut this up really nicely. Look at this. I'm cutting the cheese. Get me. I'm cutting the cheese. The cheese tax. The cheese tax. The cheese tax. 
cut them up in nice cubes. See, that's what we're doing. We'll put it in a nice little bowl, a microwave bowl. Here it is, doom, doom. Doom, 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 doom. All right, we got our cheese in the cubes. We're gonna nuke this for three minutes and then we'll stir. All right, our cheese. All right, our cheese dip looks very good right now. Looks like it's done a good job in melting. There you see it. We're gonna stir this up a little bit. There it is. Stir it up. Yeah, there it is. We're going to stir it up and spice it up a little bit. Yes, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, we're going to spice it up. We're going to add a little bit of uh, paprika. And a little bit of this um, pepper. There you go. Oh yeah, doesn't that dip look good? Yes, indeed. Well, there's only one way to see if it is good. All right, we got our chips. Let's see how they dip came out. Spring dee dee doo 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 doo. There it is. Let's see how they look. Ugh. Ugh. Well, they got a little messy, but you know, not bad for the first time. The important thing is how they taste. And we're gonna let these sit for about five to 10 minutes. Boom, 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 boom. Time to plate the meal. Time to plate. Time to plate the meal. Time to plate the meal. Time to plate the meal. It's time to plate the meal. Okay, let's see how these empanadas came out. Here we go. Nice little pocket. Here we go. Not awful. I mean, my first foray into it probably could be better, could improve it. But, you know, not bad for a first try. Bon appetit, manja, let's eat. And if you have any suggestions of what I could make next, leave a comment down below.